Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 26 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. When we left off, we'd just defeated Kisnir and her Komodo Dragon group of knights. And they've gotten through the ravine where they got ambushed. Kisner was charged with stopping them, but she's failed. So, Fia, how's it doing? So, Fia's doing good. She feels like she could almost get to the God's Haze like this. But we're only in Chapter 3, so that's not going to happen. Avaro does observe that she's been concentrating a lot and she's starting to look tired in the face. So, if they can continue through past Rikbel, that would be nice. Alright. Now we get to ask Kisnir if she intends to continue. So, there's there are soldiers still able to fight, so they can't give up. Avaro points out that they can't take the castle at this point. And they aren't going to be getting in. Can't hope for any reinforcements. Well, she's just repeating herself now. She says we have to stop the castle before... in order to prevent you from harming the town. Avaro says again that he wasn't going to do that. So yeah, Kisner knows they aren't going to harm the town. But she's the only one who knows. And the others don't believe her. So, no matter how much she tells them not to worry, it is a pretty b damn big castle and the people would be nervous at the least. So, if, they s if it comes too close to their town, they're going to freak out. Now she declares that even if it costs her her life, she's going to secure the castle. <laughs> yeah, she's hard-headed. Avaro even says she's hard-headed. But anyway, if that's how you're going to do it, we aren't going to hold back. So, That was one loud fart. Okay, somebody or other is telling both sides to stop fighting. So all of a sudden this big voice echoes across and the knights under Kisnir's command start to slow down and lower their weapons. What the hell? They're stopping? Whose voice was that? So that was Prince Gilsh. Kisner's boss and with his order the fighting will be able to stop and he's going to approach for our negotiations. Mm, okay. And as expected, the man comes for a parley. Hi, I'm a bitch. Please punch me in the face. Well, okay, that translation was a bit fast and loose. Let me give you a more strictly accurate one. So, this is Guadalcuna Castle. As I see it is splendid as expected. Bitch. 
Kisner apologizes for failing in her mission again. He says it's fine and she may leave. And now they need to put the people at ease. This is an order from the Ruth royal family third prince. Alright, she's happy to leave. And she returns the command of the knights to him. Okay. So she has done well and she should rest. Rest thoroughly. It's already beyond time for any important yeah. He has already decided not to have any more meaning more battles. Meaningless battles. <laughs> any more meaningless ones. He has to repeat. So Kisnir leaves and tends to wounded soldiers and things. <laughs> So, this is his first meeting with Avaro. He introduces himself as the leader of the town of Rikvel and the Komodo Dragon Knight Force. Komodo Dragon Knights. His name's Gilrus Rus. Okay, great. This is Avaro. Or rather, Avaro says he's Avaro, and this over here is Fia. And we're handling the castle. <laughs> so, this is her first time meeting a prince. Anyway, she thanks him for stopping the battle. She isn't really respectful of him. And Avaro thinks that might be bad diplomatically, but she is a goddess that comes above royalty, right? So, in charge of the castle, huh? So he is asking us our objective. Having passed through the valley, what will we do? Well, they just want to pass by the town. And we definitely won't cause any harm. So, he understands. If this continues, it will only bring harm to the city. So, there would be no point in continuing but increasing the, the uh, casualties. As expected, it was a good thing he stopped the battle. You know, this, uh, sound, this guy sounds like he's turned a new leaf and he's a good guy now. How nice. So, thanks a bunch. And your wise decision has saved us. Yeah. So Alright, he says he was impressed by the way we fought. And in his, in the name of in his name, he gives us permission to pass the city. If you're just passing the city, the knights will not move. He swears. Yeah, well, really, is that okay? So, what's Avaro surprised about? This is the reason why he stopped the battle, but he wants Avaro to promise not to hurt the town. Uh, of course. 
of our promises. Alright, he's going to trust us. If we're going to promise. If you were to harm the, the city, he would have to resist. さて、ようはこのまま町を無事に通り抜けるまでここで待機させてもらおうかな。町を預かる責任者として最後まで見届けなくては。So in this situation he's going to be sticking around until we're past the town. He's responsible for the town, so he needs to stay to the end. Okay then. Thanks, and we are going to go forward. <laughs> Aren't you happy, Fia? Now we can safely pass the city. Yep. The prince is a good person, isn't he? As expected of Kisnir's employer. So, Fia continues moving the castle past the town. And just like that, it would end without any further problems. Or so Avaro thought. Yo asks the... Or Yo says... Goddess, stop. What? Why? Why? So, there is a carriage that has darted under the foot of the castle. Well, that's bad. Fia, do something. So, Fia flails around and tries to force the foot that is up to get a uh, force the foot as it is descending to move in a different direction they did avoid the carriage but well we just stepped through the outer wall of the town <laughs> Fia apologizes. Since she had to react so suddenly, she couldn't move it very well. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, what's this? It seems like he's heard some loud sound. Prince Gilsh, this is. Oh! なるほど、なるほど。リックベルの町に城塞が突っ込んだと。おいおい、これでは約束が違うではないか。Yeah, he sees, he sees. The castle is just thrusted into the town. Didn't they promise not to hurt the town? Well, there were circumstances. There was a carriage that got in our way and we had to dodge it. Well, he doesn't see any carriage. Huh? Yep, they look again and it's gone. Like it was a illusion and it just disappeared. So this is what our plan was. Yeah. Fia says no. This was unavoidable. This word here, fukakoryoku, can actually be translated as act of God, which isn't her meaning, <laughs> because that would be hilarious. But anyway. <laughs> Gilsh 
Gilsh is posturing like the town is faultless and now that this has happened we can give any excuses we like but it doesn't change but what about this reality here so yeah there's crushing the wall has also damaged houses ca causing partial collapses of those and there are fires that people are trying to put out <laughs> you've hurt my town yeah it's kind of a mess out here and the townspeople are kind of panicking screaming from time to time even atop the castle you'd be able to hear it Alright. Random soldier asks the prince if he's alright. Ah, yes, he is fine. But this town in which his beloved people live has been brutally har harmed. Yeah, even Avaro can tell that he's putting on an act here. Alright. I imagine he's addressing his knights or whatever. So, did you see? They said they wanted to pass the city peacefully, but it was a lie. They got us to let our guard down, and with this weapon, they've attacked the city. These villains. See, what the hell are you talking about? Mio! <laughs> All right. See the people fleeing in fear. Hear the people's fearful screaming voices. And the Komodo Dragon Knights are going to... Now, before any more harm is done, conquer the castle. All right. Take down those uh, faithless or those lying scoundrels, I guess. So, they're taking up their weapons again and attacking. Prince Gilsh. So, without hesitation, he gave us permission to pass. Avaro says, was this your intention from the start? Well, he says, isn't that our line? If you look at what's gone on here, it's clear who is the aggressor and who is the victim. Our underhanded plan has caused these... <laughs> it's quite the thing to be accusing the victims of your... of our under, underhanded plan. So, <laughs> So, it's time to defeat the villains who are destroying the town, and he told us not to resist, since we're the ones who broke our promise first. Yeah, you bastard. All of this has been... I've always kind of got a grasp on the situation, and he says that Gilsh has sacrificed his city in order to get his hands on the castle. 
All right. Navarro's taking everyone and fighting back. <laughs> So, in this chaos, he wonders if they'll be, we'll be able to fight him properly. So, those under don't, don't forget, don't forgive those underhanded invaders. So everybody, start the attack. Kisner would like to request that he give the order to stop the attack. Why? Kisner says that before taking control of the castle, they should prioritize helping the people. It is kind of a crisis. At the moment, the castle isn't moving. So they don't plan on doing any more damage. <laughs> Gis uh, accuses Kisner of being a fool. Really want to punch him. Anyway. In, he assesses that Kisner's recommendation has no merit. So, what does she? Th why does she think he got this situation in place? In the anyway, probably those guys won't be able to concentrate on the battle and will foolishly try to help the people themselves. We may as well leave that part to them. So, he says we're a bunch of... a bunch of light-hearted fools, or weak-hearted fools, and we don't know what we need to defend here. So, Kisner's report actually came in handy. So, yes, part of her report stated that Avaro and Fio would prioritize peaceful things like helping civilians over actually fighting. And she didn't make that report in order for him to take advantage of them like this. Yeah, he says it's fine. And her role is done here. Thanks for everything and leave the rest of this to the rest of the knights. So, this being a, a second battle after the first, even if we were as stubborn as cockroaches, we're certainly going to give up our... Um, we're certainly going to die, and... He's really pleased at how easily this all fell together. So, wait a second. Was it the Prince's plan to get the castle to hit the town wall? 
何を言っている町の横を通過するだけと約束したにもかかわらず奴らが勝手にリックベルに被害を出したんだ間違えるな Well, he says no In short They did promise not to harm the town And they did harm the town だがまあこうなることを予測していたのは事実だ貴様が進言したのだろう制圧したければ身動き取れぬ状況を作り出せと But he did anticipate this As she said If we want to subdue them It would be best to set them in a position where they can't move Think 予測ができていたならばなぜ避難勧告を出さなかったのですそうすれば民の犠牲を減らせたはずです Alright Prince, if you anticipated it, why didn't you prepare for it? If you had the people's... the harm to the people would be reduced 犠牲をなくしてどうする奴らを恐怖の対象とし奴らを悪だと定めなければ意味がないと言っているだろうおかげで騎士団の士気も高揚しているではないか。Well, if we reduced the amount of damage, what would happen then? What he needed to do was paint these guys as fearful and to get them cast as villains here. Because now the knights are all Fire it up to get to to get this done. So, Tami mo o de aru yo no yaku ni tatsu no da. Mushiro kansha shite iru daro yo. And furthermore, the people will now come to his aid and furthermore thank him for what he's doing. So, just how far will this guy sink? I guess we'll find out next time, because I'm going to cut here. I'll see you next time, YouTube. Greetings, YouTube. This is BJ Black, and welcome to part 27 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Prince Gilsh has tricked us into smashing a wall and getting the knights all riled up. They're like a bunch of hornets, really. But anyway, now we get to deal with an attack again. This time we don't get defensive emplacements, though. Alright, Fia wants to point out that there are townspeople that are trapped in rubble here and there, and we should go and save them. Really, the, there are people trying to conquer us right now. She says that as long as there are people in front of her who need help, she can't leave it. Mmm, okay. Alright, everybody. Saving the people is our priority. So let's go do it. In addition to defending against the enemy's attack, we get to help those people. So, there are ruins placed here and there on this map, and if they're destroyed, we lose. Avaro can get next to one of these ruins and fix it up. Okay. Unlike the previous map, this one has been fairly consistent for me. Mm, I don't need to summon counting yet. But if we get rounding up here, we've got control of the middle. So we'll be pretty good. 
殿下民家で通路が塞がれてしまい調査侵入に手間取っておりますあらい This random soldier would like to report that there are ruins in various places blocking the way and they're not going to need to go around. Hmm. Geez, use your head a little. If there are buildings in the way, just destroy them. So, so the buildings in the way, just destroy them. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, he objects at first because there are people underneath, but he goes along with it. Sore de Pizama Muke, later in your show going out of Kanki Mido. All right, he's happy with that, and he tells you to go as well. As spirit bodies, they don't have any problem with this, do they? I knew it! It was that other ghost. Anyway. That's a lot of ghosts. Alright, Mikaela reports that the soldiers are trying to destroy the buildings. <laughs> Even though there are people underneath. What the hell? Even further than just letting them die, he's going to go and hurt hurt them himself, huh? Alright, no time to waste. We've got to hurry and save them. So simple as this. Navarro comes up, helps them out, tells them to get someplace safe. Hmm. All right, I think it's time to call Connie now. Really, I probably should have called him the first turn. Ronin gets to stay here. Now her more powerful attack is slow, as I said, so it only gets two attacks where her slow one, doing a little less damage, will get three. So it's more advantageous in this circumstance. Gee, these are giving a lot of experience. Hey, she's surprisingly underleveled. Anyway, Fia gets to take the south route. Because that's where all the ghosts are. Mikeu is going to be taking on some ghosts as well, and we need to prepare her. You recall she does a lot of damage, but she also takes a lot of damage, which was why we're going to equip our darkness necklace. This boosts her darkness up to, I think, a 25% resistance. And you get to see what she can do with that in a minute. What are we doing? So, why is Avaro helping the people? And why, while we turn our eyes away from them? Alright, these guys don't have any justice behind them anymore. So, she's not going to forgive any more mistaken choices. Mistaken being a understatement, really. 
勇敢なる留学騎士団たちよどうかこの光景に心痛める者はついてきてほしい私はもうこの事態を放ってはおけない All right. She's calling out to all the Komodo Dragon Knights to forsake their orders and help the people with her. Alright, this guy agrees with her. But he doesn't have a face, so we don't care. Alright, so some of them are going to be coming in under Kisner's command then. Alright, Kisner is telling us that although we, the circumstances are pretty weird, she's going to help. Well, that's as good. This means that not all of the knights have gone insane. Okay, let's all save the people together. Hey, look, Kisner's joined our party. We can deploy her from the deploy points like anybody else. And look at that, we get a free deploy point to do it from. This could be troublesome. I told you that these guys have been pretty consistent on this map, but they're throwing me a wrench, so I'm gonna have to improvise. First, I don't want you all tanking against those ghosts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to move Mikeu here. She can tank ghosts quite well. It was my intention to have someone else have Fia fight the boss, but it looks like he might head up north, right there. Mikeu is not as well suited. Slap a bitch. Every one of my trial runs has had the boss the ghost head straight here where Fia could take him out. This would have to be the time it changes on me, right? Oh. Gilsh observes that some of the soldiers are disobeying his orders and helping the people instead. To think that they were so... that he had so many useless people. Alright, if that's how it is, he is going to join the battle himself. Oh crap. I'm telling you, throwing monkey wrenches at me. Alright. You've seen Mikeu fight these guys. But it's so much better when she has damage reduction. Yuck, 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 yuck. Alright. Don't need to see that too many times. Bonk, die. Now Mikeu can take care of those guys, but these other guys are going to be a bit of a problem. Now I should have healed Eo. I definitely should have healed Eo. I'm sorry YouTube, I have lost a character on camera. You bastard. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap.
This should be fine. Silver medal. Now, those green ones are allied troops. God, I don't know what to do anymore. Alright. I've always helping another group of people here. Jeez, this is so screwed up. Okay, I can pull this through. Now the deal's fallen. I can bring Kisner out up here. Mikiu is safe from most attacks here. So let's heal her up. All the way. Let's see. We do good damage against it, but it does good damage against us as well. And gets three attacks. In fact, that would kill me, Kayu. This is bad, this is bad. Yep, I'm going to retreat with Mikeyu and have Fia come up to deal with this guy. Hmm. Uh, Karin, you can do whatever you want. Great, Runrin's doing something useful with herself. Bleh. Smash, Connor, and smash. Well, I didn't think he'd actually do it. I'm so going to kill you. I'm going to kill you so much that when I'm through with you, you'll be dead. Oh crap. Still, if she takes the three hits, she'll die, so I better defend. That would have been nice. Now, killing that boss will be a bit of a problem because we want to hit it with one of Fia's ranged attacks. And it has a lot of... It has a lot of attack power if it does the a melee attack on Fia, Fia dies. Just straight up. Maybe I'll let those soldiers get themselves killed. Oh. A large healing potion. Kisner is a lot more fun on our side. Now, I would consider attacking people with Mikeyu, but she's going to get hurt if she continues there. Oh, ouch. Running and attacking archers is a bad idea, too. They have the anti-air skill and she's flying. And it's not a flying that I can unequip either. Here it is. It's in her equipment and I can't change her equipment. 
getting anyway. Healing and uh, run away. Uh, did I say run away? I meant strategic retreat. Hmm? Well, I wasn't expecting that. Well, whatever floats your boat, guys. Hey. Archers are totally useless. Except against the Ramanine. Uh, crap. Can you deal with this? No, you can't. Why would they do this? It's not even close to being in the way. <laughs> Alright. It looks like I'm going to have to move Kisnir over here. Next turn, that soldier will get himself killed fighting the boss. The boss will attack Kisnir, and then Avar can march right up here and rescue the people from the building. Perfect plan. Okay, not so good. Getting defense is good, I guess, but I prefer attack, as I've said before. Alright. Keep it up, Kabin. You know, I should have had her. Yeah, she can't do any significant damage. I should have healed her to fall, though. Oh, again? Miku, take care of this. I'm lucky she was there. Alright, Avaro, fix this. Alright, are you alright? Great, great, get out of here. So, having done this down at the bottom, it does not any longer say that if the ruins are destroyed, we lose. For some reason, it still applies to Avaro, so if Avaro falls, we lose. But let's overlook that for the moment. Alright. Kisnir, I'm just going to have you tank this guy. Until Fia can come in and mess him up. Speaking of Fia... Now, this will probably be turned back. Yep. Hmm, they're starting to deal some damage to Kami. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Alright, Karen's hurting a little, Mikio's hurting a little.
This could take a while. Oh, I know. I'll bring Mikayu down. Then they'll attack Mikayu and... Then that ghost will attack Mikayu and Mikayu will mess him up. It's like none of the AI has any concept of tactics. Oh crap, Gyushi is on the move. Okay, a few moves here, and then moves there, and then kills that guy. I need Kisner to take Gyushi out. Crap. Take the deployment flag. Oh man. Oh. Well, fuck. Now Kisner's getting ganged up on. <laughs> All right, Gills, you. This is unforgivable. Oh yeah. Well, what's this? Is that how you address royalty now? What do you mean, royalty? Even though you're sacrificing people for your own ambitions. Well, if it's just the people, there will be more of them. If more or less of them fall, What's wrong with that? <laughs> I rather to be used by the royal family in this fashion is rather an honor for them. <laughs> so, Havaro says this guy's rotten to the core. Doesn't know what he should be doing with his skills or anything. Whom to protect, in, you, in any case, and declares that he doesn't have any right to lead people. <laughs> okay, apparently, what it takes to be a ruler is to inherit the right bloodline. And this dirty-blooded elf can't really speak to him about royalty. And it's... It's a sin for Avaro to speak to him such a way. <laughs> As punishment, he's going to cut us to pieces. We should be thankful. <laughs> yeah, just you try it. Stopping attacking kissing your people. This guy gets himself killed. But what's important is fear will be in place next turn. Me kill you. Well, if the ghost keeps following Connor, that'll be fine too. Not useful. Moderately useful. You know what? Let's soften him up a bit.
The long range attacks are fun. Oops. I should have healed Kisnir. Okay, Kisnir, you can't die. She could die, actually. Oh god. Thank god, thank god, thank god. Alright, time to turn the tables. I'd like to point out that this counterattack, he does have a ranged attack, has an instant death effect on it. It's never actually happened to me, but it could potentially kill Fia here. But Fia gets first strike, and if he doesn't die with this, Ranrin will finish him off. Suck it! Alright. Good, good, good. Now Kisneo can do what she was meant to do. And that is fuck up this guy's shit. You may note here that she only does 5 damage to him. Well, there's good news. She has a skill, Boss Killer. Since he's a boss, she does 10 extra damage. Oh, he got a counter in. Keep needing to heal her, though. Well, my plans just went all the pot. Hmm, I want to capture it. But that'll take three turns. Let's just kill it. Oh, battle animation's still on. Say, those soldiers have just been sitting there this whole time. You're not important enough to use SP on. Ah, oh, this bastard. He does too much damage. Yeah. I'm gonna have to defend with Kisnir so she doesn't die. Wait. He does 10 damage. So, she'll be fine. Well, unless he gets a counter in. In which case... She dies. The counters only come 15% of the time, so I'm probably good. Yes! Die, bastard! So, we forced him to take a knee. How's that feel, royalty? Alright. That's enough out of you. Take a look around. So, I'm going to call it that it for this part, and I will see you next time, YouTube.